Hello writers, RJ Tessman here with more tips for your writing day. How in the world can we find creativity during this current crisis, during any crisis that's happening to us? Well, one of the things we need to remember is that creatives do create. No matter what's happening to us, it's who we are. We are creatives. And so it's important for us to continue to create something even though it may look different than it did before. So here's some ideas. Do something creative, but different from writing. For example, baking. Lots of people are now doing banana bread and uh, other kinds of breads and various recipes that they are posting on social media. Uh, one of my friends is discovering acrylic painting and she's finding out how much she loves that particular medium. So whatever it is that kind of floats your boat right now, um, even maybe yarn, crochet, knitting, that kind of thing, um, designing some new decor for your house, uh, going out in the garden and working there with the different colors and textures of plants and flowers. Doing something creative really helps to um, encourage our souls and may even help us get a new idea for an article or a blog post or, or even a book. If you're not just running over with ideas during this time, you might try just keeping a bulleted list. So just, you know, uh, one idea, next idea, next idea, whatever. That will also kind of give you a running commentary on what you're thinking about, what your mind, where your mind is going during this crisis, and so if you decide to write a memoir someday about COVID-19, the coronavirus, what you went through during this time, you'll have some ready-made notes. I always think it's a, a good creative project to take a walk. If the weather is good, just get out and take a walk. You can certainly look for different kinds of textures, um, different kinds of things as you walk, um, the different colors that you see, I've heard that uh, creative people see more colors of green in the trees, the various trees, than, than other people. I don't know if that's true, but I know I do see lots of green. Maybe even looking for geometric patterns as you walk might be a fun thing. When I come back from my walks, I often have little pieces of nature, an interesting stick uh, or a rock. I'm a real rock person, uh, different shapes, Maybe uh, the leaf that I found on the sidewalk or uh, a different kind of, of a wildflower that I see growing. Uh, so I bring my walks back with me and have a little shelf in my kitchen where I keep those things to uh, remind me of the beauty of nature um, and creativity, even on days when I don't feel like walking. So try some different ideas, uh, some creative ideas for maybe for sharing your words, like doing some different things on Facebook, more videos, um, or different types of uh, blog posts. For a while, I was sharing on Facebook uh, and Twitter with Hope Nuggets. Um, and then when we reached day 45 of lockdown, I, I kind of had enough of that. But it, it kept me creative for a while. Uh, so think about different ways that you can keep your creativity alive, even during this crisis and initiate the things that are fun for you, uh, the things that will kind of uh, encourage and nurture uh, your creative soul. So usually I say keep writing because your words matter. They do, they do still matter. And if you can sit down for even 10 minutes a day and write something, like I said, a, a bulleted list, that's a good thing. Uh, so as much as possible, nurture your creative soul, hang in there, we will make it through this, uh, we will be different and the world will be different. Uh, but as writers, we can still certainly impact the world with our words. And then um, you might check out my uh, YouTube channel called Coaching for Writers. I put this video there and lots of other videos that I have done. So this might be a good time for you just to watch some extra videos, subscribe to my channel for the next ones, and then just think a little bit more about writing. Take care of yourselves. Stay healthy. God bless.